Well, and I and I hadn't thought about this until you just posed that question, Rex. Like, like I I, I legit don't think that CMS is trying to get rid of five star plans, right? But again, I didn't think about this till you brought it up. But I wonder, um, you know, by taking away reward factor and putting this in place, are you now putting the impetus on the really high performing plans to put in a much stronger focus on these social risk factors and ultimately things that would roll up to an HEI. Um, kind of kind of like they did when they increased the weight to member experience. You saw this huge shift in market, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody's now throwing resources to improve the member experience. And if you're incenting these high performing plans, maybe they're going to be the ones that start leading the way. So, you know, you know, potentially there, but I think it it opens up kind of a broader question for like us, right? Um, Part of the reason that I was excited about doing this podcast, this episode is because a lot of this is kind of what we're doing behind the scenes all the time when new stuff comes out. So we're thinking about, all right, how is this going to impact our clients? What, What kind of things do they need to be doing now, right? I mean, Josh on, you know, a very regular basis is looking at the numbers. And in fact, Nate and Josh, as a team are often looking at these numbers and creating math path and figuring out, all right, what, what are your potential avenues, right? To get from where you are to where you actually want to be. And I think this is an interesting time, very similar to Tukey, um, where we have this tidal wave coming at us. If we're a, especially a four and a half, five star plan, we have this wave coming at us. We know it's going to happen. It's two years out. So, what do we do right now to start prepping for that? Um, you know, A, I think most important, it's it's communicating with leadership and getting this information out there um, quickly, clearly, um, making it very clear that we, we've been used to these 40 basis points coming in every every year or these 20 or 30, whatever it might be. And that's simply going away. So we're going to see some drops. What do we need to do between now and then to start counterbalancing that effect? And I've got some ideas, but I'll open it up to to you guys and see what you have. And then I can add to it. Yeah, I just think that's the other interesting part of this is that you're going to have, um, you know, plans kind of inevitably drop, right? As we've kind of demonstrated here. And so, you know, you're dropping and you, you've always provided, we'll call it, if you're, you know, five, four and a half, you're providing great service, right? To your membership. Now you basically have to provide perfect service to your membership in order to be at that five-star level. And in order to do that, you're going to have to spend more money with more incentives, more, um, you know, outreach efforts and stuff like that. So it's really you know, you get the $10 billion from CMS that they're projecting that is going to be, you know, savings. But we're also going to have to spend more money as health plans in order to to provide nearly perfect service if we want to stay, you know, four and a half, five stars. 